Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Battle Brothers. In the previous episode we decided to head north towards these two ruins because uh, we kind of need to make some money. We spend a lot on uh, that unique armor we bought some time ago and also we wasted a lot of money uh, looking for that unique they told us about in Wormfest. We spent, I think it was like a week running around in this area, I didn't find anything. And yeah, when we are paying 1200 or over 1200 crowns per day, that was quite expensive. Uh, so now we have 31,000 and I would like to get at least over 50,000, but ideally even more. So today we will start. Uh, if I pause, we should have some brigands right in front of us. So that's where we're gonna start. They have a brigand leader. So we should get at least some interesting items. This shouldn't be that difficult. It's been a while since we, uh, since we attacked brigands. Because of the greenskin crisis, we have been fighting greenskins, I don't know for how long now, but it was definitely too long. I really like to see something else than just goblins and orcs. Um, where do we start? This guy doesn't have a helmet. Can we just kill him? Good. Uh, this looks like a good start. Also, this guy doesn't have a helmet. This one has cover. Okay, let's try it. He has a shield, but no. I was hoping that we might get lucky. Mm, what about this one? I'm surprised that we didn't miss a single shot, I think, during the night. Also, it's a welcome change after all the goblins that are... <laughs> Close to impossible to hit sometimes. Okay, let's get some vision. Oh, it should be fine, just. Oh, well, they have one. I think two hunting bows? Ah, that's fine. Ah, oh, this guy has a crossbow. But I think they'll just stay where they are once we kill all the melee, they should run away. Uh, this fight shouldn't take long. Okay, let's try to finish up this one first. easy compared to those goblins. Um, they all have cover. This one doesn't have cover. That's the leader. And now we should be able to hit, well, try to hit this one. Wow. The uh, marksmen are actually moving forward. I didn't expect that. Maybe it's because I moved forward, so they somehow got vision. I think if I stayed in line, they would just ignore me, basically. But well, this should be just more loot for us. One. Also, I think the first shot that we missed. They blocked some shots, but I think this was the first one that we missed. And that's another one. Okay, 
Okay, let's make sure these two can't run away. And I think the Shredder might be more dangerous than the leader. And I don't want to risk attacking the leader in case he has 9 lives. Yeah, that's better. There we go, there, those were 9 lives. So now it's gone. Can you kill him? There we go. One, two, three. We can block both these two. Perfect. There's still the crossbowman somewhere, but I think at this point he's already fleeing. Yeah, he's gone. Don't have to shoot, we'll just kill them with our heavies. This one has a dagger, so let's kill him first. There we go, that was easy. And the level up forecast bar, good. What about the loot? I'll take those X's. All the weapons. We'll leave wooden shields behind and all the armor. Let's check the company out to make sure that we have both surgeons in case we run into ghosts. And we'll wait for midday. There we go. Mm. So what's it gonna be? I'm hoping brigands again. But I kind of ex oh no it's uh it's brigands I expected uh, green skins well can we somehow reach the marksman because this is not an ideal position for us okay, we can reach this one. So it's one hunting bow gone. And what else? Let's try this one. I think this one doesn't have a shield. Oh, this is better. Short bow, we don't really care about that. Light crossbow, that should be fine as well. We just want to kill these two, and then we are fine. Come on. Let's go with the highest chance to hit. Wait, wait. Let's make sure there are no surprises hiding under the fog of war. What is this injury? Severe concussion. Sounds serious. Well, 
compared to those uh, goblin overseers, even the uh, medium crossbows just do nothing. A bit of damage, but... This really feels like target practice after all the goblins. Two, three, four... Can we somehow get on the high ground? I could just go here, but it's too close to them. No, two, three. I'll just stay here. Two, three. I... Does he have? Yes, has spear well active. I'll just get a bit closer. Wait. to finish with this one. Perfect. This guy basically doesn't have a helmet. Two, three, four. I really shouldn't underestimate them, but now ah, let's do it. Um. Okay, let's just uh, activate Indomitable. Warhammers are probably most, than, or this, these are not Warhammers, these are military picks, but still, those are probably the most dangerous uh, brigands on the map. is taking quite a lot of damage. So how many marksmen do we still have alive? Just these two with light weapons. Come 
Come on, finish him off. Why? Why do we have to miss always the most dangerous ones? Those that really can't do anything just die immediately. But when they have weapon that can do some damage, they just have to block the important attack. Two, three, four. Okay, if I move all the way, he won't panic. Okay, let's just go on this tile. I don't want to stand under him, that's for sure. Okay, here we have a line of fire, so let's try ah, to kill him. Never mind. Why am I surprised? He has the military pick, so he'll be probably... These two will be probably the last two alive, together with the leaders. Good. There. One more shot. Good. One, two, three. Okay, let's make sure we stay on the same level as the leaders. What about shade? Play it safe. Next one. I'll try. Get straight out the heavy weapon and move forward. One, two, three, four. I should be able to catch the leader. I really want their gear.
Okay, so it's just the leader left, and... No, it's not over, I want to kill him as well. I'm not sure what kind of weapon he has, and if it's just some T1 one-handed weapon that can be a few hundred gold. Really? There we go. Okay, it's another level up. And what about the loot? Silverware is fine. I'll take all the weapons. How much is this? 90. Well, it's not worth it. And the unique shield, really? Where did that come from? Uh, this one is not bad. 35 range defense, that's a lot. Maybe I will, I will even equip this one. And we can take all the armor except the leather cap, I think. Okay. Before we do anything, let's check the level ups. Uh, melee skill. I think I'll get to 145 fatigue before I start working on the melee defense again. And resolve. The other level up is shade. Melee skill. Fatigue resolve the same thing. Thinking if I should move Shade back, but then I'd have to move Ingol forward. I think I'll just swap gear for now and keep the Shade in the front line. Uh, Forty-seven hit points. That's not too bad. Forty-six. We all wait a few hours. should be enough to heal everything up. Let's have a look around. No. But I probably can't see this area and that's where I expect uh, some uh, brigand camps. Okay, let's wait a few hours. Afternoon. How long do we need? Like one hour? That should be enough. Yeah. And it was enough to heal Stavarek up. That changes things. I'll move Apostolus back and move Stavarik forward. Okay, we have like seven minutes for this episode. Um, let's do one more fight. I hope it's just Brigands again. Yeah. 
Good. And I already see a noble sword. Crossbows. Um, <laughs> come on, eighty one percent, really. didn't work the way I wanted to. I was just hoping that we could get a headshot and uh, kill this guy in like two, maybe three shots. And now we have, I think, one more shot left and he is still alive. Can you finish it off, please? Thank you. Wait, wait. I'm sure that this was actually a smart move because now I'm in the range of both these crossbows. We need to hit their heads, they don't have helmets. So that's one down. Nope, that was the wrong one. Once again, make sure that there's nothing under the fog of war. Since I've already moved, let's just keep moving. We'll flank them. Also, now we are standing here, it will be a bit more difficult for the crossbowman to hit us. Should 
probably check Verdun. It's taken a lot of damage. He's been hit like three times already by the crossbowman, and because when I'm zoomed out, I can't see his hit points. I'm not really paying too much attention to his injuries. Okay, let's try to kill this marksman. He's really getting on my nerves. There we go. That's better. Anybody without the helmet? We could try it. this guy. 66% is not bad. And I feel like we get rid of the military pick. That was a nice shot. Let's make sure that they can't run away. Okay, we are trying to make money, so I need to catch as many of them as possible. That was a misclick. One, two, three. Let's move forward.
I'll actually try to kill this one. It's only 16%, but... Come on, that's a third attack that he somehow managed to block. And again, it's the guy with a military pig, someone who can actually do something. Okay, can we finally kill him, please? Nice. I can get another level up. Perfect. Some food. Mushroom do we have in the inventory? Still enough. It's 200 for javelins. That's good enough. Definitely throw away some things. And that should be enough room. For this episode, I think I still want to check this area if there is something or not. And of course, I didn't expect what is this? Uh, Orcish art. Oh, okay, it's just telling us that there are orcs around. Many orc berserkers. Yeah, I definitely expect uh, orcs here. I expected to see some brigand camp, but well, at least something. So in the next episode, we'll start by killing those berserkers and then we have to go back to Wisenfest and sell all the loot. I think we already have like, probably 5,000 in the inventory. So there was easy money, but then we have to figure out where we go next because I can't see any locations around. Maybe you can go back north and check, let's say, this area. We already have uh, the script here. Let me zoom in. I thought that uh, this might be skeletons, but based on the design, it's probably just zombies or zombies. Well, probably necromancer with zombies and, you know, ghosts, stuff like that. Well, we'll see. This episode is definitely over, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.